Hey guys, this is the Meek for LIFM, recording my first Commander video here. Looks like, uh, well the guy had hardcore in the description so he's probably playing a pretty savage deck. Five color Sliver Queen control by the looks of it. I'm playing Thalia Guardian of Thraben, mono white beats. Okay, our hand looks pretty good. Um, we're going to curve out okay. Looks like turn one Mother. Actually, probably turn one War Falcon, turn two Thalia. Turn 3 Honor. Seems pretty good. We got the Strip Mine to remove some of his lands. He's playing 5 colors, so that should be helpful. And we uh, draw Stone Forge here. It's a decent draw. So, turn 1, we're going to go War Falcon. War Falcon, it's pretty good because uh, Thalia is a soldier, so she actually activates War Falcon. So, there's, you're never really too worried about uh, swinging with it on turn 2 if you uh, have it in your opener. hope he uh, doesn't have force spike force or something. Force spike or maybe spell snare, who knows. Or maybe he just wants to brainstorm or some kind of draw effect before my Thalia comes into play. Light and tutor, okay that makes sense. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Gotta love it. Get in there for two, pass the turn. Probably gonna strip his tundra this turn. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like stripping the tundra and slamming the sky hunter is what we're gonna do here. So let's get in there for four. Strip his tundra, slam the sky hunter. Bring the beats. Basically, all we can hope for. What do you got here? Coalition relic. Okay, so he's doing all right. Our mana deprivation plan isn't doing too great. Oh, here's a great play. I like this. I'm gonna slam revoker, naming soul ring keep him off his mana here. It's a good thing about Revoker over something like uh, Pithing Needle. You can actually name mana abilities. And it beats, so we like it. It's debatable naming Coalition Relic here could be good because that'll keep him off some colored mana but I think just taking him down keeping him off the two mana is probably our best bet let's see what he's got Like our landy plan is not doing too great, but life total is dwindling, so we'll see. This turn, hmm. I think I'm gonna play the Mystic here. I don't know. Just, do we want to overextend? Let's count his mana here. What does he got? It's a possibility he could wrath next turn. He does have uh, double white and double black hope to him, so we're gonna assume that he's running. Stuff like Damnation and Wrath of God, so chances are could get Wrath next turn. So let's play this guy rather than the two utility creatures here. And we're gonna grab Skull Clamp, I believe. Everything else is a little too expensive under Thalia right now with uh, only two mana. So let's grab Skull Clamp and ship it. Yeah, he's gonna wrath. It's unfortunate. Click off the soul ring and skull 
Yeah, we're getting wrapped here. It's kind of unfortunate. So he's back in it. We'll see what we draw here. Land probably would be our best bet so we can slam the splicer. That's not good. Well, he did say hardcore in his description, and this deck is definitely hardcore. What does this one do again? At the beginning of each player's enchant upkeep, destroy target non artifact creature that player controls. Can't be regenerated, so. We gotta do something here. Slam the splicer. We'll get to keep a 3 3. Against this guy, the first strike is not too big of a deal because we're gonna be s sacking the splicer, so. I wonder how the targeting works with this and Mother of Runes. Never really, it's never really come up. Splicer's hitting the bin. Okay, our lands are coming here. I'm gonna get in there. Okay, so I'm gonna play Mother of Runes. Then we're gonna try and get him with that even mind sensor. Depending on what he does here. Hopefully we can get some value off that. Looks like he's going to be drawing some cards here, yet. Yeah. Alright. It's not looking too good now. Looks like he's going to stabilize here. That's not good. That's a beating. Looks like he's... Chances are he has counter magic up too. Yeah, this is not looking too good for us here. I'm assuming he's going to counter this. Then we'll have to sack. Okay. That resolves his removal, though. Alright. Ooh. Worst case scenario. Hmm. Here I'm going to just draw some cards, see how that goes. But it definitely looks like he's stabilized. Four cards in hand here. Need to get some action going here. Yeah, the abyss is really hurting us here. We need some way of removing that. We have a couple ways of doing it. Doesn't look like we'll be able to get in this last 13 though. It's going to be an uphill battle from here. Hmm. It's tough here. Balsher is good against him, but I think the flying is going to. If we have any chance of winning, I think the evasion is going to be more important because now he's going to start pumping out sliver tokens. So the ground is pretty gummed up here. Okay. 
Man, Denal's definitely not really an option anymore. He has a lot of artifacts. Oh, okay, that's his plan. So he turned the tables on us. That's pretty much game, I think. Yeah, I think I've seen enough. See what I draw, and then I'm probably going to scoop it in. The Abyss is killing us here. Top deck Revoker again. Yeah, I've seen enough. Good game. Deck was definitely hardcore.